I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. And <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not gonna learn about tunes. We're gonna learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, all right. Let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa! And today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa! This is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> first, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah. That is one cup of flour. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay. All right. Let's see. One quarter cup of salt. All right. It is definitely already getting really messy. Okay. One quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Go. Perfect. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Perfect. All right. Okay. Let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name. <laughs> That's so fun. Cream of tartar. <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa, this is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on, just so it does not spill. That would be bad news berry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah. Water. I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. You can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but 
that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out! Wow! Whoa, homemade clay! Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then now you can use these. Yeah. They're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Whoa! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out and then Let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay, you know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, push it down. All right, whoa, look at that, whoa, pull the sides away, wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly, look, what is that, yeah, it's a little poochie, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> okay, we'll save you, we'll put you right there, perfect. All right, one pooch and one airplane. Huh, perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L, huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I, we would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect, 
All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we've got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. Alright, nice little L right there. Yeah! So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah! Whoa! Okay, B, L, I. Yeah! B, L, I. What's the next letter? Yeah, P, and there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B, L, I, P, we need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B L I P P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now let's make one more thing. Huh? Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters. Yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft, so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I'm definitely making a mess with all these small pieces, so. Look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon, and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, but you go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands Roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah, and it was really fun. Yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah. A doggy. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, 
All you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippy. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye bye. Hmm. Hey, it's me, Blippy. Ooh, and look at what I'm eating. Oh, I am eating a yummy cherry. Ooh, I love cherries. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I threw out the stem and I threw out the seed. <laughs> I love cherries because they're so sweet. Hey, I wonder how the cherries went all the way from the cherry farm to this package. Huh. Okay, first thing you need to do is pull the cherries off of the tree. And then you put it in the bucket right here. And when the bucket is really full, like this, then we go to the bin oh, and pour out the cherries. Wow, look at all of these cherries. Now that the bins are full of cherries to the tippy tippy top, now it's time for the tractor to load up the bins. The cherries, they look so yummy. I love cherries, and cherries grow in clusters like these. Let's pull off a cluster and count how many cherries are in the cluster. Whoa, okay. One cherry, two cherries, and three cherries. Cherries look so tasty, and these cherries are the color red. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Look at this giant door! Whoa! Gotta lock up the back of the truck! Now the truck is full of cherries. Now it's time for the truck to take it to the packing facility. So tasty! Yum! So now it's time for 
the chairs to go up this conveyor belt and go get sorted in the factory. <laughs> Wee! There's so many cherries! So what I'm doing now is, oh, here's one. I'm pulling the stems, throwing them away, and then I'm also looking, oh, yeah, I'm looking for leaves and throwing them away. Whoa, I, oh, I, oh, here's one. Yes, another leaf. Good job. I'm getting so, oh, yeah. Okay, so now, we make sure these these cherries are nice and clean so then they can go down the conveyor belt so then they'll be nice and ready for you to eat. are so tasty. Whoa, look at them. They're like red. Wow, okay, I'll eat another cherry. Okay. This one doesn't have a stem. But it does, excuse me. But it does have a seed on it. Wow, I love cherries. And I love learning about how cherries go from the farm to a package like this so that you and I can eat. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Okay, are you ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. Well, see you again. Bye-bye. Hey! It's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa! So many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah! That's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're going to let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay. So let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. 
Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity. Yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down, the speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide, or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe there's sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. And away we go. Whoa! I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Whoa! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa, I hear one. Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. Some air. 
airplanes fly with propellers. Some airplanes fly with jet engines. I love to look up and see their wings waving down at me. learning about velocity with you and it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great blippy velocity race <laughs> but there's only one champion and today that was water <laughs> wow <laughs> well this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me B L I P-P-I! Blippi! Good job! Alright, see you again! Bye bye <laughs> Hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo! In Phoenix, Arizona! Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today! Let's go! Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! <laughs> yeah! That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. 
Ooh. Whoa. This is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. Did you see that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Ooh. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs, and we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on! Ooh. Hey, check it out! These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go! Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws and might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa. This tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh, he's 66 years old. Whoa, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look, the tortoise is off the ground. Do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa, okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise, and it's a female. Oh, oh, 
There you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa, hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. Oh, oh, would you like some more? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good job! Oh, you dropped it! <laughs> hey, come a little closer! Okay, here you go. Alright. Open wide! Here comes the carrot! Whoa! There you go. Is that yummy? Hey! Tortoises like carrots, just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa! You have a big mouth! Whoa! Look! I'm giving this tortoise a scratch, see? How does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah! Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them and this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown-up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready! Oh no! Ooh, check this out! This is an armadillo! Okay, here you go! Run free! Whoa, look! An armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face! Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go. Uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. Here you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right, here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Whoa, look at this animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. 
Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here! Whoa, look at it! Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay. And they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Ooh. So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh. Yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They <laughs> have shrimp and smelt. So you can take a couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! Looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh! I did it! Look! It's gone! <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa! <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa! Look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not going to hurt them. And so they're coming closer and closer Whoa. as they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yeah. Look at them. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> But that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh, whoa, whoa, there they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all of these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. Check it out. Whee! Whoa! Hey! Look! 
I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! Hello. See the hump of the camel? They store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the Native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? <gasps> okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Because, like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Oh, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay. I'll keep these right here. Okay. Yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa. I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa! Look, are you having fun, snake? Whee! Hello! Hey! Whoa, look at it! Whoa! It's so intrigued with the camera! Whoa! This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa. <laughs> hey, whoa, look right here. Oh, hey, there's someone over here. Come here. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah, a horned lizard, that's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. 
Wow. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, knees just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, hello. <laughs> wow. Oh. A lion? Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look. <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippi. And look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side, and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet, yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah. Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Okay, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty. Whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, you can stand right there. Oh, well, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. <laughs> Okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys. Yeah, this T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, all right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and, what? Perfect, okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first, perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa, woo, 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 Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah, construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, 
Huh, this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow track. By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer, clearing the land Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Roll, roll on Bulldozer Machine. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over. Here comes the it's bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Ring, ring. <laughs> right, put in the box. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Whoa. Look at where we're at. We are at Giggle Jungle. Come on. Hey. hey. Wow. Look at how colorful this place is. Whoa. Look. It's the color white blue, and green. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> oh, look at this. Wow, what is this? This is so cool. Yeah, hop on, buddy. Green. Wow, look, it's the color green. Whoa. Whoa! Here's another one! <laughs> really? That's so cool! Alright! Color pink. 
and this is the color green. Oh, come on! Color blue! Look! Just hand? like me! Dolphin and a blue dolphin. There you are! <laughs> hey! 
Yay! I'm over here! Wow! This was so much fun at the Giggle Jungle in Redmond, Washington. Oh! Hey! It's me, Blippi. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See, I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand. So then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> Okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right. You see these yellow triangles? Yeah. What is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, there we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow. Have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon. We're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this. Ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. <gasps> it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. 
I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, that's a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah, that's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though, but for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa -hoo -hoo! This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents and then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo, oh, <laughs> that's silly, one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready, here we go. Whoa, looks like they float. Whoa, raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So. Now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1 would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh. Fantastic. How here. much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar. I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, 
and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi, good job. All right, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're at Party Jungle in Phoenix, Arizona. And we are gonna have so much fun today. Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Check it out. Oh, hello. Hi, Blippi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Ooh, I am really excited. Ooh, check there this you go. out. Have fun. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Wristband and some tokens. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, -bye. Bye. we'll put these in my pocket for later. Ooh, let's ride a ride. Whoa! Look at this! What kind of animal is this? <laughs> yeah! It's an elephant! Will you act like an elephant with me? <laughs> Elephants are so big! <laughs> okay, let's ride. Okay, here we go! Ride. And so much fun acting like an elephant. Yeah. Let's go ride some more rides. Ooh. Check this ride out. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, these look like swings. Do you know of an animal that loves to swing from trees? <laughs> yeah, monkeys love to swing on trees. Let's act like monkeys. <laughs> okay, all right, let's hop in. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's take a seat. Oh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get buckled up. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, I am having so much fun. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. Oh no, look, I'm stuck. Hey, let's act like monkeys to get out of this. <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, see you soon. Whoa, I'm getting kind of hungry. Oh, are you hungry? Let's go. Have some animal crackers? Of course. Ooh, animal crackers. There you go. Yum, thank you. Okay, let's find a place to sit. Hmm. How about right here? <laughs> let's open them up. Woo! So many animals. Let's set this right over here. Wait a second. What's this? It's a dog. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't we eat our snacks like how a dog eats? Do you know how a dog eats? Yep, with no hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Okay, let's see what else they have around here. 
Whoa! This place is so cool! And colorful! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, check it out! Miniature golf! Whoa! Hey! Here we go! Two size clubs. Do we want this one or this one? Let's do this one. Looks just right for my size. So we have a blue club and an orange ball. My two favorite colors. Okay, here we go. All right, get ready. Oh, wait, wait a second. Do you see this? What animal is this? This is a zebra. Whoa. Black, white, black, white. Hey, did you know zebras are actually all black with white stripes? Interesting. Whoa, whoa. Oh, can't forget these. Oh, whoa. A hippopotamus. Whoa, that's silly. Let's act like a hippo. <laughs> Hippos are really big. They love the water. And they love the land, too. Pretty interesting. Ooh, all right. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, I almost made it. Whoa! Look! Oh, this is a horse. Horsey, how are you? I love horses. They're so nice most of the time, and they love to gallop. Hey, let's gallop this horse. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's put this horse right here, because we have another ride to go into. Oh, thanks. Welcome. Come on. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> That's silly. Hello. Hi, oh, come over here. Hello. How are you two? Good. Oh, very good. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Hello. How are Hi. you? Good. High five. Woohoo. Okay. My turn. Okay. <sighs> let's sit in here. And then, put the chain on right here. Now, we are ready to go. <laughs> ah! Choo choo, here comes a train. Choo choo, ah! here comes a train. It's rolling on the tracks, gonna get there fast, yeah. Choo choo, here comes a train. I can spend Hello. watching you go choo. Oh, all across the country there are many train tracks and so <laughs> I can only imagine how much fun I'd be having if I was riding on the good boots. That's the back of the train. I try to count all the train cars, but they'll That was so much fun! Whoa! We love party jungle! What else there is around here? Wow! <laughs> A jungle gym! Whoa! Look! Whoa! A cute little animal! Hello! <laughs> this is a sloth. Did you know that sloths move really slow? Here, come on! Let's act like a sloth together. Okay, how you act like a sloth is you just move really slow. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. This is funny. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Have you ever seen a sloth swim? <gasps> you should look it up. It's hilarious. Sloths move really slow on land, but when they swim, they swim really fast, like three times faster than they move on land. Whoa! Oh, hey, this area, you have to take off your shoes. So, let's 
let's take off my shoes. There we go. One, two, whee! Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This place is awesome. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, whoa. Whee, whoa. Whoa! What is this? Whoa! What animal is this? It's cute. It's black and white. It's a penguin! Whee! Let's act like penguins together. Okay, all you have to do is waddle. Whoa! Waddle, waddle, waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Okay, okay, let's put my shoes back on and let's play some arcade games. Oh, oh geez. Okay, let's check this out. Whoa, look at this game. Ooh, all right, let's put in a coin. Let's take the hammer. Get ready. Oh. You have to hit them when they come out. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's getting trickier. Two of them are coming out at a time. Whoa. 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 I'm getting tired. Okay, what other games do we have? Oh, I know of a game. Here, come right over here. Dance Dance Revolution! Woo! I'm really good at this one. Get ready. Pretty cool because you get a spin around. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. Horsey. Whoa. hanging out at Party Jungle with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, 
All you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. Well, fun hanging out with animals with you. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today we're at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle, Washington. This is going to be so much fun. Come on. Whoa. Look at this place. This place is awesome. Ooh, now we're in the butterfly room. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Yeah, I love butterflies. They're so beautiful and light. Will you act like a butterfly with me? Whoa, look at him go! Whoa! <laughs> There's one right there. Hey, butterfly. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out! A butterfly just landed on me. So anytime they land on you, you don't want to touch them. And they're actually just being really nice. So you can be nice back to them. See? <laughs> I love butterflies because they're so bright and, and some are camouflaged though. Look, can you find one? This butterfly uses camouflage for its defense mechanism. Just in case if there's any predators, then the predators can't see it. <laughs> see? <laughs> Hi! All right, now I'm with Lorraine, and what are you gonna show us? So this here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I can take Ooh. it out for you. And what am I gonna do with it? You can hold it if you'd like. Sure, let's try Take it. Out. I'm about to hold a Madagascar hissing cockroach. All right, hold your hand out really still. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that's nice. I like this cockroach. Hey, how are you? Hey. Do you see it? See, I'm being nice to it, and it's being nice to me. Hey, how are you? What did you do today? Did you enjoy your food? Yeah. Ooh, now we get to touch some animals. But first, we need to wash our hands. So then our hands are nice and clean. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go, come on. Ooh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Hey, what do we have here? Well, over there we have some anemones. They're really friendly and kind of squishy. You're doing a really good job petting it with one or two fingers on the side. We don't really want to poke it right in the middle because that's its mouth. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this one. So the last ones are really soft. I wonder what this is going to feel like. Looks like it's closing itself up a little bit. Blippi, it, it might think you're food. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at this one. What's this? That over there is a sea star. How does it feel? Whoa. Kind of bumpy maybe? Yeah, bumpy and, and, and kind of small spikes. The last couple were really soft, but this one is hard. Those little dots are made out of the same stuff that seashells are made out of. Ooh. So even as, though a sea star doesn't have a, its own seashell, it's kind of like it has little bits of a seashell. Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I found the queen. Wow, there's so many honeybees in here. Hey, don't be scared of honeybees. All they're trying to do is make some honey. Yeah. Have you ever had honey before? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's so tasty! Look at what it is! This is the spot where you can do the bee dance! Are you ready to learn the bee dance? I'll teach you. Okay, in the middle here, you go and do a little wiggle. Then you go this way. Flap your wings. Yep, because we want to make some honey. In the middle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then go this way. Flap your wings. And then since you're back in the middle, you wiggle, 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 and go this way. And then you keep doing it until you're really tired. All right, ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Flap your wings. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that was awesome, good job. Oh, now we're in the living things exhibit. Oh, look. Hey, look at what it is. It's a crayfish. Do you see it right there? Oh, here's one right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Ooh, and up top there's some fish. Hey, fish. Are you just swimming around? Yeah, they are. Oh, oh look over here. Some giant grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers can jump really high. I bet they live in the grass a lot of times. Eh, that's why they're called grass hoppers. A lot of times they live in the grass and they hop really high. <laughs> Let's go see what else there is. Whoa, look at this room. Another part of the Living Things exhibit. Whoa. Yeah, do you see these? Whoa, interesting. These are naked mole rats. Wow. They're like rats, but they have no fur or, or hair or scales or anything like that. That's why they're called naked mole rats. <laughs> oh, and an axolotl. Check this out. Whoa. See that? That's an axolotl. Whoa, so interesting. Kind of looks like a salamander mixed with a fish. But the cool thing about axolotls are if they lose a limb like their arm, then from there, they can regrow it back. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Check out this little person or guy or girl or I don't even know, but this is a turtle. Wow. Hey, how are you, turtle? Are you having a good day? Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> you sure do look like you're having fun. <laughs> See you later. Whoa. It's kind of dark in here, but that's okay. This is a green iguana. Can you see it? Whoa. It's just relaxing. Having a good time. <laughs> All right. See you, Iguana. Right there is a dinosaur. They don't live on our planet anymore, but they used to. Look at it. It kind of looks like a velociraptor. Will you act like a velociraptor with me? Whoa, another dinosaur. Whoa, this dinosaur. That's its name right there. It's really big. Hey, look at its head. <laughs> Hey! See? It kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet. Just like when you and I ride bicycles, we wear helmets. <laughs> cool! Oh, here's some more dinosaurs. Whoa, look at that one. That is a triceratops. Do you know why they call it a triceratops? Yep, because it has three horns on its face and head. 
Let's count them. One, two, three. <laughs> All right. See you later, Triceratops. Oh. Hey, another dinosaur. Wow. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, this dinosaur right here was a herbivore. <laughs> See, these plants, that means it eats plants. And plants only. It doesn't eat meat. And look at what's on its head. <laughs> it kind of looks like a shark fin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. Check this out. Whoa, this is a massive footprint. Okay, let's compare my foot to this dinosaur's foot. Ready? <laughs> its foot is way bigger than mine. It's even way bigger than two of my feet. <laughs> Whoa, another dino. Check it out. This is a Stegosaurus. Whoa, do you see those plates on its back? That's for its defense mechanism. Wow. Hey, Stegosaurus. <laughs> oh. So many cool dinosaurs in here. Whoa. This dinosaur is so scary. It's the king and queen of the dino land. Whoa. I'm going to act like this dinosaur, OK? Will you do the same? Ready? <laughs> I love acting like a dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, now we're gonna do the high rise bike. Oh, all right. Come on, come here. Gotta buckle up. Whoa. I'll also tell you a few tech things before you go. Okay. Uh, just make sure you're going at like a walking pace. You're always going forwards and just keep pedaling the whole time. Okay. Uh, hands are optional. Whoa, hands are optional. Here I go. Whoa. You would think I would fall off because it's a really thin rail, but I didn't because the weight is really heavy and it's really far away from me. Here I go. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Interesting. This looks like a giant circle. <laughs> and this is actually called the water wheel. It's kind of just like how a hamster runs in their wheel. I'm going to do the same, but it's going to grab water from the bottom and throw it up over the top. Ready? Here I go. Whoa, what's this? Ooh, this is the water power station. Water is getting shot out on the front of this little water gun. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, watch, I'll make that spin. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what's that way up there? Do you see that? Yeah, that's the Seattle Space Needle. I think we should take the water power gun and try and shoot way up there. Here we go. <laughs> it's such a nice day. I wanted to give them a cool break of water, but it's too high up there. Let's go see what else there is around here.
pretty fun. Whoa! Look at this area. You can use these water squirters to squirt inside this clear cube. <laughs> All right, let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. All right, I wonder if I put this right here. Yeah, see? The water is pushing this gear around. Okay, let's try this one. Whoa, look. Both of these are going in circle. The red one and the yellow one. Ooh. Come on. I love playing with water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Okay, look in there. Let's go. Woo. Welcome! Come on in! Hey, look! It's a little tree house. Here I go! Hello! Whoa! It's a bunch of spirals, ups, downs, lefts, and rights. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! 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 <laughs> These are so much fun. Oh, the noise room. Come on. Whoa! This room is a room that you can make as much noise as you want. First thing I'm gonna do is yell. <laughs> now, let's use the things around us to make some noise. And if we're lucky, maybe it will sound like music. right up here. Whoa, this area has a lot of colorful bricks. Yeah, see? Right over here. All right. Tempo! <laughs> Whoa, a taller one. Let's count how many there are. This is a lot of stories of bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen bricks coming down! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! Okay. Let's uh, organize these bricks in their different colors, okay? Okay, since we made a mess, we need to take the green bricks, put them over here, okay? Okay, there's the green bricks. And let's now take the blue bricks and put them right there. Awesome. Perfect. Oh, hey, look. Here's some brown bricks. Let's put them right here. Hey, here's a red brick. Let's put it right there. Okay. Hey, here's some more blue bricks. Oh, look at this one. What color is that? 
Yeah, this is brown. Let's stack it right there. Hey, look at all these. What color is this? Do you know what color this is? Yeah, it's the color yellow. Let's put these right over here. Okay, so when those 18 bricks fell down, they were comprised of these one, two, three, four, five colors. And those colors are green, brown, blue, red, and yellow. Good job. Let's see what other fun things they have at the Pacific Science Center. Let's go. Do you like numbers? Yeah, I do too. What about big numbers? Yeah, check this out. This is a big number. 76,383,232. Whoa, that's a big number. But when I push this red button, watch this number. Whoa, it just went up by one. See, it's at three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Every time you push this button, it goes up by one. So if you ever come to the Pacific Science Center, you can see what number it's at, because I am going to leave it at 76,383,323. Wait, no. 324? Oh, hey, I'm just doing this puzzle of the moon. Okay, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Hey, there's another. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Perfect. We're almost done. Look. Yeah, this is our moon. We live on planet Earth. And we have one moon. And we call it moon. <laughs> wow, how clever of us. Hey, look at what it is. This is a planet. Just like how we live on planet Earth, this is a planet in our solar system. And this is Saturn. <gasps> Ooh. And the biggest planet in our solar system is Jupiter. Whoa, it is really big. <gasps> look at that. Come here. This is a space capsule. Watch your step. See? This capsule is where astronauts can sit in and go into outer space so then they can feel the effects of gravity and they can push all these cool knobs. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, look! I just made all those things light up. Whoa, this is fun. Whoa, it's like I can see planet Earth all the way from out here. Whoa, hey mom. <laughs> Woo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> just kidding, it was just a mirror. Come over here, I'll show you some more fun that we can have with mirrors. Ooh, look at this. Whoa. <laughs> I call this the mirror dance. <laughs> I look silly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, this is a bubble maker. All right, I'm gonna lift this up. Nice and slow. And I'm gonna blow now. Did you see that? That was awesome! I love making bubbles. Ooh, and you know what else I love? Is taking a giant lever and seeing how distance way out here makes it really easy compared to, to lift up this weight, compared to hold down right here. See, watch. 
Huh, interesting. All right, now let's move it way out here. All right, now I'll do it with one hand. Yeah, did you see it? Look, I'll lift it up. Whoa, that's pretty interesting. Whoa, hey, a cool mirror. Another one. Hey, hello, this is interesting. See, I'm upside down, but in real life, I'm right side up. Hello, hey, I see you. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right. Let's continue on. This place is so cool. Hey, what's this? This is a beach ball. What's it doing here? Flying ball. Feel the power of air in motion. Huh, interesting. Let's push this. Whoa! I wonder what happens when I plug this hole that's shooting up all the air. Whoa, did you see that? All right. Now I wonder what happens when I move it. Whoa! Oh, look, the ball's way over there! All right. Ready? Whoa! Yeah, that was awesome! I just hydrated my body with a lot of water because what I'm about to show you takes a lot of energy. I'll show you my Lance Armstrong hill climb. Woohoo! That was awesome! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. Special thanks to the Pacific Science Center for making this video happen. Bye-bye.